Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here, and we're taking a look at another one of the Studio Series Constructicons. This time up we have Long Haul. Of course, Long Haul was a Generation 1 character, as he was also a Constructicon, and that version of Long Haul formed the hip section of Devastator, whereas this modern version of Devastator, Long Haul becomes the right leg. And of course, he, like all the other Constructicons, they come with a backdrop, which primarily features the pyramids, which of course was the scene where the Constructicons merged to form Devastator, in the second of the live-action movies, Revenge of the Fallen. These guys were apparently released at the 10th anniversary for Revenge of the Fallen. Not exactly something many of us wish to remember, since Revenge of the Fallen was not a very good movie in the slightest, but hey, if it was your favorite, to each their own. At any rate, here is Long Haul. For some strange reason, he is apparently one of the harder ones to find now on the secondary market. Because it did take me quite a while to find one. And then, of course, once I did find one, I had to pay through the nose to get him. And at any rate, here he is. Give him a good turn around so you can see all over him. Mine's kind of wonky in the way his legs are situated. That's better. Straighten the joint out and there we go. Now he stands about right. Well, something I do want to point out that even though Long Haul here does not have any loose parts, the wheels here that are on his shoulders, those can snap off relatively easily. I'm not going to do that on mine. I'm just saying it due to the fact that this wheel right here, I bought this toy brand new and when he arrived this wheel had popped off either during being packaged or during shipping to the original owner or whatever. Somehow the wheel somehow popped off. So that is something that if you are looking for one, you will want to make sure that both of the wheels are attached. Because they will pop off relatively easily. And I did fight for several minutes to get the wheel back onto the toy. Because that is a very snug fit. And after spending over $100 on this guy, I was most definitely afraid of breaking him trying to get that back on. At any rate, let's take a look at his articulation. The head can move up and down a bit. It is on a bit of a ball joint. And with some effort, it will turn side to side. But with all the kibble around him, it is going to be very difficult for people with big fingers like me. The arms do raise out to the side. But shoulder rotation is pretty limited due to the fact that the wheels and the back unit do get in the way. His arms can bend at the elbow 90 degrees. And they do have a bit of a swivel, but it's more at the shoulder than at the bicep, so we won't say that he has G.I. Joe battle grip here. His legs can be spread apart about so far. Again, it's a little hard to split him up. 
His legs do rotate at the thigh in the one direction. You can raise his leg up at the hip 90 degrees, and you can bend him at the knee 90 degrees. So he does have a fair amount of articulation going for him. It just unfortunately, the way he's designed, uh, you're going to be kind of limited in how you can pose him. Okay, now that we got his robot mode positioned the way it's supposed to be done, uh, I had the feet wrong. Let's have a better look at him again, so that way you can all see how he's really supposed to look. <laughs> yes, notice the sarcasm in my voice. Some of these modern guys are a little com more complicated than they need to be. Okay, then. To transform Long Haul, we start by folding his feet up. Just like that. And then these wheels here on his legs, we're going to fold to the back side. They should just pop into place just like that. Then we're going to turn them at the knee so that the wheels face outwards. Like so. Then when that's done, we should be able to put his legs together. To a degree. Don't get them all fully fastened in. Hold on a second, I'll double check things. Alright, next they'll want us to rotate his head all the way around. Like so. Then they suggest we put the legs together. Just like that. Because then we're going to turn him around. And we're going to take the back piece here. And we're going to fold it down. There's a couple of posts hanging here at the front. And they will connect in to these holes here at the front of the truck. So you may have to shift the body a bit. But it should plug in just exactly like that. Then we turn him around again because we're going to kind of shift the arms a bit so that we can rotate the wheels to bring them down. Just exactly like that. Now comes one of the fun parts. We're going to take his arms you're going to wiggle this piece up, rotate it around uh, like so, do that with the other one, like that. Apparently these pieces would be folded up and inside like that. So you want to make sure they are now straight, like they are presently. Then, of course, once they are in, I'm going to start shifting them to the back. Because we're going to shift his arms so that his hands grip these posts here on his back. Of course, while you're doing that, the wheel, the back wheels should also be lining themselves up and in. So like we said, make sure the arms grip just exactly like that. 
course, we'll have to re-rotate these side panels. Try to rotate them upwards so they don't get in the way of the wheels. Fold down this rear section. Then we're going to bring the side panels in. Now on these, they should, they've got a slot at the back to grip onto this post. And also, they have two pegs here on the front. So one of them should line up and connect with the cab. And you gotta do this without the arms detaching. Relatively simple. Those are my famous last words, by the way. We also gotta make sure the legs shift down here to allow enough clearance for everything to line up just right. Boom. Come in. Come in. All righty. Let's shift the back wheels down a little further so that they get down enough. But all in all, there we have it. Long Haul is in his alternate mode. He is, just like in the Generation 1 Classic, he is a dump truck. The toy in the Transformers Wikia doesn't specify exactly what sort of model of dump truck he is. But he does appear to be one of the more larger earth mover type dump trucks. But of course in the Generation 1 cartoon Long Haul was famous for griping about he didn't sign on to the Decepticon army to be a dump truck. They seem to copy that sentiment into the Transformers live-action films, but it's not really explicitly said in the film. Of course, with so many Constructicons, it was a little hard to give each of them a unique personality. Now, of course, comes the part we're all waiting for. How do we transform him into being a part for Devastator? Well, we're going to do that. The first thing we have to do is we pop the arms free. At least pop these pieces free. Keep the arms firmly attached. And then, of course, pull these armors out to the side. Get them totally separated. Like I said, though, you got to keep... Gonna keep things from moving on me. He likes to move. There we go. Once we've got the arms back in position, flipping back over to the underside, we want to shift the wheels to the back for a bit. So that way we can rotate these. Rotate the side panels like so. We come back down here to the underside. We're going to take these pieces of his upper thighs, the armor that's on them, and we just shift it towards the back. Just a bit. Like so. Because then we're going to raise up 
everything back here from the hip. The only way to do that is we gotta let go. Of course, guys, I gotta detach this. Otherwise, it won't move at all. Shift it up exactly like so. And of course, once that's done, we'll bring the armor back to the side. Try to line it up just so. By the way, as you'll see in here, there's a slot, and it should line up and connect with the top of the truck so that, that way it will hold everything together and in place. Feel free to make all the minute adjustments that you need to in order to get this to line up just exactly. There we go. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Alright, let me keep that down for the moment. Then we come back here to the back. I'm going to fold down the rear of the truck to help form a heel. And rotate the wheels. So they are down. We come back here and reposition the thigh pieces. like so. And while they don't show it on the instructions, you will need to bring up this section here. Since this is where no, you keep this down a bit. Because right in here, these pieces right here is how he will connect in. But all in all, there he is. One leg of Devastator. So now we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of the studio long haul? All in all, I think this long haul is a very sturdy figure. It certainly looks tough and imposing as you would expect a character who was built out of a dump truck to look. My biggest gripe with him is his rarity. He is very hard to find on the secondary market, and that is a bit of a disappointment, especially for anybody who really wants to find these guys. It is very difficult to find them. The Constructicons were super popular in the 86 era, back in the day when we were growing up with them. Actually, 85, not 86, when they came out, but still. They were very popular back then, and Hasbro couldn't meet the demand. Nowadays, it seems like they gave up most of the way through, and these guys are pretty hard to find. I think Long Haul may actually be pretty fra and be a fragile toy as well, since, like I said, the one segment of wheels had popped off on my toy and it was never even opened. So he may be a bit on the fragile side and if any of you have had one that broke on you please shout it out in the comments. Let everybody know what broke so we can all be aware of what to watch for on loose samples. Anyway that's my look at the Studio Series Constructicon Long Haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join our ranks. 
Make sure to ring the bell so you'll be notified when we post new content. We also ask that you share this video with your friends and fellow collectors. That helps this channel grow. And also share your thoughts about Long Haul in the comments down below. This is Sparkster1701 saying I'll catch you all later.